in the days of the monarchy, this valley was a swamp. Inhospitable to the living, it became a necropolis for the neighboring people. According to tradition, Tarquinius Superbus began the construction of the Cloaca Maxima, a sewage system, in the 6th century BC, and used it to drain the swamp of all of its moisture. The king's plan was to create an area for political and religious life, and the valley below his own residence proved to be a fitting place for its undertaking, as the king would be able to watch the city. It was here that the shrines were built to the most ancient religious cults in the city, Saturn, Vulcan, Mars, and Vesta. The area served the people and the leaders of Rome well for many centuries, and by the early 2nd century AD, construction of massive temples in marble were everywhere. Running east to west along the Roman Forum is the Via Sacra, the Sacred Road, and was used for religious processions and celebrations of triumphal generals on their way to the capital. On occasion, fires and earthquakes would demolish the buildings which made it necessary to rebuild. Since it was quite difficult to extract the foundations of the earlier temple, Architects would sometimes use the early foundations for the reconstruction of the temple and other times would simply leave the original foundations in the ground and make new ones. This created a labyrinth of foundations that is difficult for archaeologists today to discern one building from another. During the Middle Ages, the valley changed very little and was occupied by several types of people, including shepherds, families, and within the Arch of Septimus Severus, tools found suggest that the arch was transformed into a barbershop. In the 15th century, the area witnessed a change which was exactly opposite to the over-construction of Roman times. Artists and architects were encouraged to scavenge the area for building materials and decorations. After scavengers scoured the interiors for removable art, temples all over the Roman Forum tumbled to the ground and their pieces were carted away to make new palaces, churches, and fountains. It is for this reason that only a fraction of what the Roman Forum once was remains, and we are left to wonder with our own imaginations what it must have felt like to be a Roman in ancient times.